known around the Senate and around the state um, as our liberal lion. Um, so please welcome, with a roar, State Senator Dalen Leap. Hey everybody, can you hear me okay? First, I gotta say, they told me where this rally was. I was very excited to come. I came, I parked my car. I saw a group of people. I started walking toward it. Turns out there's an NRA rally over there. I almost went up on stage and started to talk. That may not have gone well. Um, anyway, it's good to be with you today. Uh, you know, when I first went to the legislature 11 years ago, GMOs weren't particularly on my radar screen. There's a lot of other issues going on. I started reading about it, and, it's, and at first it sounded awesome. We're going to have corn from seed to ear in hours, and we're going to have salmon the size of canoes, and it's going to be it's going to be terrific. And I was like, well, I mean, that, that sounds good, but are we sure that this is okay? Because that sounds sort of messing with nature. Are we sure this is going to be okay? So I started doing a little reading online, and first thing I found out is that Monsanto said it was fine. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> I mean... You know, the biotech industry, the same folks who said that uh, Agent Orange was fine, the same folks who said PCBs or DDT was fine, they were saying this was fine. But then I started reading that there were some people who were saying, well, maybe not, there may be some problems with this. And I thought, these are horribly cynical people that just want to hurt job creators. But then I did a little more research, and I found that there were numerous credible studies that showed all kinds of problems with this stuff. First of all, I found there were studies in mice that showed re problems with the reproductive system and problems with cancer, the sort of things that don't appear in humans for decades sometimes and that we can't adequately test because we're not even allowed to know what, what foods have this stuff in it. And that really troubled me. And then I found out that yeah, as, as this stuff you know, sort of migrates with the wind, it contaminates other, uh, other plants and ruins the biodiversity of, of areas. Monarch butterflies are down 50% since we started doing this. Uh, and I started, I started seeing all kinds of problems with this. Now, there was conflicting science, and of course, much of the conflicting science was paid for by the industry, but okay, we won't get too upset about that. You know, I'm not a scientist, I didn't do my own independent studies, but I thought we should at least do something in this situation. So what did I do? Did I go off half-cocked and introduce a bill to ban GMOs? No. I mean, first of all, I'm not, I'm not sure that, that, that at, at the time I got into this, the science supported that. Um, and there's also certain political impediments to doing stuff like that. Republicans. Um, and so... And so I'm like, I'm going to try to do something reasonable. And then I thought, well, at least people should know. But uh, did I introduce a bill that said there have to be giant red warning signs warning GMOs, eat this and die? No, we didn't do anything like that. We actually do sell products that say, for example, cigarettes. If you consume this product, you will die. Smoke one of these and you will be in the grave very soon. People still buy them. <laughs> I, I, you know, who knows? Anyway, so I said, we're going to do something completely reasonable. All we want to do is let people know what is in the food they're buying. And it's nothing, this is not new. This is not new. <laughs> you folks know, if you put a tomato in a can of soup, you have to put tomato on the label. If you put celery or my favorite, monosodium glutamate, which I really enjoy, sometimes just by the handful itself. All right? If you put any of that into a, into, a, into a product, you have to label that product. And, you know, we had to fight for that. The industry fought us on ingredient labeling. The industry fought us on nutritional labeling. Okay? But we prevailed on all, on all of those battles because it's in America's DNA to want to know what to feed their family. So I introduced this bill, no editorialization, all it has to say is there's a GMO in the product. Who could be against such a thing? <laughs> well, I found out who could be against such a thing. Monsanto could be against such a thing. And they not only are against such a thing here, they're against, you, you know what happened in California where the industry spent $47 million to mislead people, to tell people that their foods wouldn't be available anymore and that they wouldn't be able to afford them anymore and all kinds of horrible things were gonna happen. Um, and so they, they oppose it. And this is their argument. Because, you know, I met with, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a giving person. I'm a, I'm a lonely man. I seek out human contact wherever I can find it. So I met with the industry representatives. You know what their argument is? 
You ever see? Uh, you ever see that movie with uh, Jack Nicholson and Tom Cruise? Their argument is you can't handle the truth. If we tell you what's in your food, if we tell you there are GMOs in your food, you're not going to be able to understand what that means, and you're going to do something rash, like not eat the food with the GMOs in it anymore. Okay. And that would be crazy, all right? So we, Monsanto, are protecting the American people from doing something stupid like eating food that they know what the stuff in the food is, all right? That, imagine the arrogance of that argument, the, ar the, the arrogance of the argument that you can't know. Imagine opposing, telling fact, undisputably factually accurate information to consumers. So they can make their own decisions. Some people might love GMOs. The industry says they're great. So maybe some people will, will buy that and they'll buy it. You know, the other thing is the industry can make, you know how they make fat-free foods and gluten-free foods. They can make GMO-free foods and have a whole different a new market. But they are concerned. Yeah, you know, we're, we're capitalists. You're right. But I will tell you this. They are concerned. It's not about that. They are concerned about this. They are concerned about this. They are concerned that once you know what the food that is in, you're going to start making demands about health, about research, about safety, about knowing what the consequences of these foods are, and they do not want that information to get out. And that's why they're opposing this, and that's why they're willing to spend millions and millions of dollars. At the end of the day, and I'm going to conclude with this, at the end of the day, as I said earlier, we're going to prevail on this, okay? It is... The American people are going to want to know what they're eating. And the American people are going to want to know what they're giving to their families. And they're not going to be able to stop that. But the question is, is it going to happen later? Is it going to happen sooner? If every day that people eat this and don't know any health consequences that actually that there are and that science bears out are going to be causing more harm to more people. So you've got to contact your representatives, got to contact your senators, you got to educate yourselves and educate your neighbors and educate your friends and make sure they understand what is at stake here. Your health, your family's health, our biodiversity, our entire natural ecosystem are at stake here. Please get involved. Thank you so much for being out here. I look forward to working with you. That was great. Let's give another round of applause. Thank you so much.